If you go down to the woods today, it's quite possible you will encounter more than you bargained for. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at 25 bite-sized stories of forests that have offered up more than just a serene walk through the trees. As always with these shorter stories, if you would like us to expand on them, then let us know in the comments. Now before we begin, we'd just like to say that if you're not already a Patreon, you're missing out on a ton of awesome content we upload. Lots of our videos are not ad-friendly, and thanks to Patreon, we're able to cover the topics you love, despite YouTube's ad rules not liking them. So not only will you be supporting our channel, but you'll also get access to all of our exclusive full-length documentaries, including our Murderous Minds and Minds of Madness series. We've just recently uploaded a Murderous Minds on the Truck Stop Killer, and the Minds of Madness on Ricardo Lopez, as well as David Koresh and the Waco Siege. We try to upload one or two documentaries per month, and it's well worth the two dollars. So to not only support the channel, but also get access to tons more content from us, head on over to Patreon, where for just two dollars you can access all of our exclusive content. Now remember, if you cannot afford two dollars a month, we've never wanted a paywall to be the reason you cannot enjoy our content. That's why we give all of our Patreon exclusive content out for free for those who genuinely cannot afford it. You do not need to describe your situation, just simply email patreon at topfives.co.uk and you'll be granted free access to our exclusive documentaries. It's our way of giving back to those who cannot afford, but still get value out of our content. Now if you haven't already done so, hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Cow Tongues Nailed the Trees In 2009, a dog walker in a wooded area in Prospect Park, Brooklyn, was met with a gruesome sight. Nailed to some of the trees were fleshy-looking organs that later turned out to be cow's tongues. The tongues, which appeared to come from a butcher shop, were hanging about six feet off the ground from 15 different tree trunks. It was suggested that the bizarre practice is sometimes used in cult or fringe religious rituals, and they may have been nailed to the trees as a message to the living. The significance of using tongues could indicate trying to silence someone, a sort of defensive prayer to instruct the spirits to stop gossiping, spreading harmful rumours, or from testifying in court. This isn't the first time cow tongues have been found nailed to trees. Over the years, there have been several other incidents where horrified walkers in the woods have stumbled upon this gruesome practice. The Bunker in Northern Germany Somewhere deep in the woods of Northern Germany lies a very mysterious place with pipes which look like periscopes sticking out of the ground. The area is known to locals and is a popular place for children to play. However, the unexplained pipes prompted two friends to investigate further, with creepy consequences. The friends found an entrance to an underground bunker and removed the wooden door with a crowbar. It was obvious others had been there before, as there was a plastic bag and other litter lying on the ground. Inside they discovered endless hallways that appeared to be some sort of underground hospital, and at the end of the main hallway was a water-filled hole. The graffiti on some of the walls was chilling. One read help, another said hello Satan, I love you. The corridors smelt putrid, and some of the offshoots from the main hallway were flooded. They also found a strange old machine, a glove, a submarine hatch, and an old shoe. The friends took as many photos as they could, and later circulated them online. However, after realizing the photos were leaked, authorities moved quickly to block up the entrance. Dow Hill Forest in India Located in the West Bengal town of Kursiong, the Dow Hill Victoria Boys' School is known as one of the most haunted places in India with frequent tales of unexplained footsteps echoing through the halls of the school. However, despite the school's reputation, there is a far more sinister story of the woods that surround it, as the area is rumoured to be the site of several murders. The ominous mist-filled woodlands is also rumoured to be home to a headless boy that wanders among the trees, and along the path between the school and forest, aptly named Death Road. For those who dare to venture further into the forest, they can expect to feel they are being watched, and some have caught a fleeting glance of an apparition in an ash-coloured dress. Booby-trapped trail cams 
Trail cameras are a popular way for hunters and wildlife enthusiasts to track creatures in the forest, but you certainly wouldn't expect to be injured by one. However, in 2019, a man was severely injured after he tried to insert batteries into a trail cam in a wooded area in Harlan County. The camera had been booby-trapped by a disgruntled local to explode when the batteries were inserted. The injured man lost multiple fingers and suffered wounds to his chest after the camera exploded in his hands. Soon after, 39-year-old Mark Sowoff was arrested when authorities linked him to the devices. After searching his trash and home, discovering explosives, wire, and other materials matching the detonated device. They also found a note reading, broken camera for a broken soul. That Sawaf told police he had planned to leave with one of his trail cameras, hoping someone would steal it. Although strangely, he did not own the property where the explosives were recovered, but he had previously been confronted by the property owners for trespassing. Things didn't end well for Sawaf, after he agreed to lead officials to the remaining devices hidden in the woods, he attempted to escape and was shot dead by the Lexington Fire Investigator Captain. Authorities went on to discover a further 12 deadly devices. Leloyen Since 2003, residents of Mules, a small town in Switzerland, had been terrorised by a sinister figure seen lurking in the Fribourg Forest. Witnesses described the figure as around six foot two, dressed in a military uniform with a gas mask covering his face. He became known as the Liloyan, and apparently he walked the same route every day for over a decade, although there was no photographic evidence of his existence. That was until 2013, when a local news website published the first known photograph of the mysterious man. Of course, there were many skeptics, but for the locals who lived close to the woods, the Liloyan was very real and those who have had frightening encounters with the mystery man all told the same story about his appearance and height. And although he seemed harmless, families were reluctant to go anywhere near the forest. At the time the photo appeared, the police also got involved to try and track the man down, believing he may be mentally ill or a homeless man living in the woods. Others believed he was a ghost of a soldier or an unidentified cryptid or alien. The last reported sighting was in November 2013 when a woman saw the man in the forest picking flowers. However, it was reported that the creature took his own life after its clothes were found in the woodlands with a cryptic note that read, the risk of a hunt for the beast. However, to date, this is unconfirmed and it remains to be seen whether the Loyan is truly dead or merely in hiding. Pulsating forest in Quebec. Take a look at this. If you were in the forest and saw that, it would be enough to frighten the life out of you. It looks like the forest floor is alive and about to swallow someone up into the bellows of the earth. This video was taken in Quebec in Canada in 2018 and quickly went viral online. However, despite its terrifying appearance, there is a perfectly plausible explanation for the breathing forest in Quebec, and it doesn't involve sleeping giants or creepy forest spirits. Instead, it's a meteorological phenomenon that happens in strong winds. Because the forest floor is covered in moss and has an extensive root system that wraps around the roots of younger trees, when the soil is soft and it's very windy, the roots lift to create this unusual scene and give the appearance that the earth is breathing. An abandoned pet cemetery. For those that are unaware, Taking a relaxing stroll in Devon's enchanted Halden Forest in England might come as a bit of a shock, because lying amongst an eerie sea of moss are several grave markers. The haunting scene is the final unofficial resting place of hundreds of beloved pets from hamsters to horses, and even a boa constrictor snake. Nobody knows how this sad and haunting spot came to be, but for many years, gravestones and burial markers appeared regularly and forestry commission rangers were baffled by its existence. It wasn't until 2001 that the burial site came to public attention, when the forestry commission took the decision to fence off the site amid fears of a pollution threat to nearby rivers. They also banned more animals being buried there. However, despite the ban, in the past 20 years, mysteriously new graves have appeared and fresh flowers are added on a regular basis. But there is a horrifying twist to the story because Halden Forest is also the place that big cat experts visited in 1998 
to prove or disprove the existence of a big cat roaming the ancient forest after several sightings of a black puma with the belief that the creature may have been feeding off animals buried in a pet cemetery. Creepy Photobomb In 2018, Audrey Frechette was filming a moose on the edge of a forest in Quebec, Canada, when a bizarre looking figure appeared in shot. Take a look. Oh man, it's very cool. The video subsequently went viral, but to date, no one knows what the figure in the background is. And we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Human remains. In April 2021, a hiker walking in the woods near Tok in eastern Alaska spotted a partially buried freezer poking out of the ground. Authorities were alerted and found stuffed inside the freezer human remains. The body was later identified as 67 year old Michael Lee Tefatella of Anchorage, who hadn't been seen since 2018. It's sad that no one reported him missing or inquired where he was and the discovery of his body prompted a murder inquiry that the date is unsolved. Marie Holmes On May 5th, 1898, Marie Holmes died a violent death in full view of the public on Pacific Avenue. Marie was just 21 years of age and took her own life with a dose of carbolic acid. Despite this horrific act, she was mourned deeply by the locals and her body was laid to rest at Evergreen Cemetery with a lovely headstone made from fine white quartzite. Many years later, her daughter, who was a baby when her mother died, searched for her mother's grave and found the headstone. However, shortly after the stone vanished and later cemetery records were burned in 1920, no one had any idea exactly where Marie was laid to rest. However, local historian Phil Reader took on the task of finding her grave. And in 1997, he not only located the site but also installed a new headstone marker. Many years later in 2005, local resident and avid hiker River Wolf, while exploring the redwoods, came across a white headstone lying flat on a steep embankment. At the time, he left the stone where it was, but seven years later, he again found himself in the area and looked for the headstone. He made a note of the name and an online search led him to the story of Marie Holmes. The stone was retrieved, cleaned up and stored in the museum's archive with plans to reinstall the headstone in its rightful place. But the question is, how did it find itself on the steep embankment in the first place? Bigfoot. We couldn't do a video about things in the forest without including Bigfoot. This next video was uploaded to YouTube in 2013 by Josh Highcliffe. It appears to show a giant ape-like creature walking through a US forest near the Mississippi town of Tunica. Josh shared the two minute clip of the beast and claimed he saw it from a distance of just 50 yards. Take a look. Highcliffe claimed the creature was at least seven feet tall and he ran away the moment it stood up. As expected, the clip has generated a lot of curious reactions from users. Some lauded the clip as the best Bigfoot footage ever. Others think it's a fake. What are your thoughts? Creepy face carvings. You may get the feeling of being watched in a forest. Well, if you visit Storrs Mill Woods in Cudworth, England, you really are. And for those that are unaware of the human-like faces carved into the rock throughout the forest, it can be an unnerving experience. According to legend, the faces watch those who pass through the woods. It is said that the faces were carved by the Druids to protect the area as they consider the trees of Storrs Mill Woods sacred and a pathway to the spirit world. Others believed it was the monks of the 12th century Breton Priory that engraved them. However, in reality, the faces have been carved by local artist Malvin Dickinson and his friend Billy Johnson. 
Despite this, to the unsuspecting visitor to the woods, seeing the faces staring at you is a creepy experience. Sliced up clothes. A family living in Bergen County was shocked when they found a woman's discarded clothing balled up in the woods near their home and immediately called the police because chillingly, every single item of clothing had been cut in a way to suggest it was cut off whoever was wearing it. It was noted that the items seemed to have been deliberately bunched up and placed in a spot where they were found. Theories about the chilling discovery ranged from paramedics cutting the clothes off to treat a victim to something far more sinister. To date, the owner has still not been identified, but could it be that they are in no fit state to come forward? We can only hope not. Plane crash. A few years ago, a Redditor posted a haunting story about what he stumbled upon in the woods in Avery County, North Carolina. He and his brother were hiking there in December 2016, and as they made their way into the dense rainforest area, they found an extremely overgrown pathway. Curious as to where it led, they followed it, and as they approached a small creek, they started to see weird things, like decaying rope rusted metal, paracord, and supplies. As the trail ended, they saw this. The plane had clearly been there a while. When they got home, they googled the plane number and found this. That wreckage and the site of someone's death had been left to rot in the forest for 39 years. Abandoned doll in an abandoned home. There's nothing quite as creepy as an abandoned house, dark woods and a doll. So imagine how terrified you'd be if you stumbled across all three. This is exactly what happened to the photographer who took this image in the woods, just off Highway 74 in Oklahoma. The sinister image conjures up all sorts of thoughts of what happened to whoever lived in that house. Catton Forest, Russia. This looks like a normal forest scene, but do not be fooled, as this place is a true testament to the absolute brutality of the Stalinist regime. In 1943, at the height of World War II, German troops invaded the forest and discovered a mass grave containing thousands of dead Polish soldiers. It was later determined they'd been massacred on Stalin's orders. Today, the serenity of the forest hides the occurrences that happened there. Witchwood Forest in Oxfordshire, England. Witchwood Forest in Oxfordshire is stunning and the perfect place to walk or relax. However, beware that it could end in disaster. Back in 1560, Amy Robsart, the wife of the Earl of Leicester, mysteriously broke her neck and died. Some years later, her husband claimed to have encountered a ghost in Witchwood Forest while on a hunting trip. Her spirit told the Earl that he would join her in the afterlife in just a few days. As she predicted, the Earl fell ill shortly after and quickly died. Local legend says that anyone who encounters the ghost of Amy in the forest will befall the same fate as the Earl. House Covered in Dolls While out for a hike in the Russian countryside, a hiker stumbled upon a clearing in the woods and saw what he thought was an abandoned house. But as he moved closer, he realized the house and outbuildings was covered in hundreds of children's toys, from baby dolls to stuffed animals. Many of the dolls' heads had been torn from their bodies and nailed to posts and fences. Very strange. To date, the exact location or reasoning is a mystery. The Jersey Devil. Pine Barrens is a vast expanse of forest that spans over 1 million acres in New Jersey, USA. The land is dotted with ruins of former mill and mining settlements along with an incredible assortment of ghost towns. But all is not what it seems, as it's also known for its paranormal activity and is said to be the home of the Jersey Devil. The creature is said to have been the 13th child of Deborah Leeds, born in 1735. After its birth, the Leeds family was shocked to see their baby had leathery wings, a goat's head and hooves. Soon after, it allegedly flew up the chimney and into the barrens. 
and it's been killing livestock and scaring South Jersey residents ever since. Over the years, many have claimed to have witnessed the cryptid, but this image caught in 2015, probably the most well-known. What do you think? Wenlock Edge Wenlock Edge in Shropshire, England is a popular UK hiking area with an intriguing link to the Civil War and to the unsuspecting walker creeping through the gnarled and twisted tree trunks in the forest. They might get a fright as it's reportedly haunted by not one but two ghosts. The Ipikin, a 13th century highwayman who made his home in the woods and Major Smallman who galloped his horse off the edge to escape capture during the English Civil War. He allegedly survived the 200 foot drop but his spirit is said to have returned after his death. Yawata no Yabushirazu, Japan's Forbidden Forest Located less than 30 minutes from downtown Tokyo, the bamboo forest of Yawata no Yabushirazu is reportedly one of the most haunted places in Japan. However, rather than a traditional ghost sighting, the stories around the forest center around the belief that anyone who enters gets spirited away and is never seen again. The origins of the forest's sinister nature vary depending on who you ask, with theories ranging from samurai ghosts to poisonous gas. Whatever the case, locals take these stories so seriously that a fence currently surrounds the forest, barring anyone from setting foot inside. Fort Myers 8. On the morning of March 23, 2007, Detective Sergeant Jennifer Soto received a phone call that would lead her and other officers into a dark forest and involve them in an unsettling mystery. The caller said a human skull had been found in woods off Arcadia Road in Fort Myers, Florida. As they walked through the thick brush, however, it didn't take long for them to discover there was not just one human skull. There were in fact eight skulls along with their skeletons scattered around a 200 square yard area, most of them hidden by roots, plants, leaves and other ground cover. None of the bodies had been buried. Experts were able to determine that all of the victims were white males, perhaps some of them Hispanic with ages ranging from 18 to 49, and it was estimated they were placed in the woods between 1980 and 2000. They became known as the Fort Myers Eight and suspicion soon fell on serial killer Daniel Owen Conahan Jr., although he was never charged with the murders. Three of the skeletons have now been identified, but these five facial reconstructed men remain unnamed. Tower U Hills Park in Malaysia This forest park in Tower U Sabah is home to some of the tallest trees in the world and is a popular tourist attraction. But only during daylight hours, because local residents believe the forest is haunted, and the spirits that lurk there only come out at night time. Many people are believed to have disappeared in the forest, particularly near its famous waterfall. So despite its beauty, this place should be explored with caution. Casey Hathaway In 2019, three-year-old Casey Hathaway disappeared after playing with his cousin and sister behind his great grand's back garden. A huge search party searched for Casey, and thankfully 55 hours later, the boy was found, soaking wet and freezing in a thorn bush. It was a miracle he had survived so long in sub-zero temperatures, dressed in just a coat and tracksuit. But when Casey was asked about his ordeal, he claimed a friendly bear had helped keep him alive and looked after him. It is known that North Carolina has a large black bear population, though it remains to be seen if the youngster's claim is real or imagined, although it seems something or someone was looking out for him. Rainbow Swamps We'll end this list on a less creepy note, although if you came across this natural phenomenon in the woods, you would likely think you've landed in paradise. In 2018, Brent Rosen posted his girlfriend's photo of a rainbow swamp on Reddit. It received more than 120,000 upvotes in 24 hours. The couple were walking in First Landing State Park, Virginia, when they came across this. The scene looks like something out of a fairy tale, however good old mother nature is responsible. The rainbow effect is a thin film on top of pooled water in swamps and marshes, 
and is the result of natural oils released by decaying vegetation onto still water. It's not just unique to Virginia, it has been seen in other areas of the world where the swamp conditions are right. Although it's quite rare, we'd love to know if any of you have ever witnessed it firsthand. So that's it for this video. If you'd like us to go in depth on any of these 25 entries, then let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to head over to Patreon to check out more content.